We have a record crowd tonight, and thanks to the blessing and the curse we all know of as Zoom, uh, we're all here. Uh, on behalf of the Richard Wagner Society of the Upper Midwest, I want to thank each of you for attending and for supporting your local artists. My name is Michael Rupert. I'm the president and events chair for the Richard Wagner Society of the Upper Midwest. And again, I want to thank all of you for attending and for supporting your local art artists, not just Victoria and Eric, but all of your local artists wherever you live. No one has been more devastated economically and professionally than musicians, actors, stagehands, wardrobe and makeup artists, lighting and, and uh, sound engineers, composers, lyricists, librettists, the front of a house, the ticketing folks, the ushers, the concessions people, the people who work behind the scenes in administration, the custodians, the list of dominoes goes on. It has been uh, the past year has been just absolutely devastating for performing arts and particularly for opera. We've all heard a lot about the impact of the pandemic on bars and restaurants, but we really haven't heard enough about how much we all need to support the performing arts. So please do whatever you can. This recovery will be the longest for all of them. Music in Action was initially conceived prior to the pandemic by a longtime member of our organization, Renata Sharp who wanted to find a way to provide support for local Twin Cities musicians. Those of us on our board of directors had had initial discussions about Renata's idea before the pandemic. Then one year ago, everything changed. We realized that the emerging pandemic would have an immediate impact on the world of opera, but of course we had no idea how deep and protracted that impact would be. We decided to explore putting together a program as soon as we could in May then May 25th happened, and the murder of George Floyd right here in Minneapolis challenged us to find a way to respond to that event and its aftermath as well. The result was Music in Action, our organization's first ever grant program, with initial grant funds provided entirely by our eight member board of directors. The program has no direct relationship to the 19th century German composer and theatrical impresario, Richard Wagner. When we launched the, the grant program in early September, applicants were allowed to select any genre of music, so long as the music was relevant to the program purpose, which was most notably to spark healing, humanity, and joy through the vocal arts. After a rigorous evaluation process, our selection committee chose two applicants, Victoria Vargas and Mark Billy, to receive $2,500 grants each. Mark's premiere and talk back, by the way, is Friday, May 14th at the same time, 7 p.m. So please mark your calendars for that. And as with tonight's event, it is free and open to the public. We have, uh, as I said, a record crowd tonight and welcome to all of you who've probably never even heard of our organization. We hope you enjoy the, the performance tonight. And, and no secret, you will not hear any Wagner tonight. You will hear opera, but you will not hear Wagner. Uh, we have uh, two artists performing tonight uh, through a, a beautiful recorded performance. Mezzo-soprano Victoria Vargas um, has sung with over 20, in, in over 20 roles for the Minnesota Opera and in performances with the Opera Theater of St. Louis, Chautauqua Opera, Sarasota Opera, Ashland Highland Festival and others. This spring, Victoria can be seen singing the role of Florence Pike and Albert Herring for the Minnesota Opera, as well as performing with the Minnesota-based organization and opera theater. Eric McEnany is one of America's foremost opera pianists and vocal coaches, having assisted on the musical preparation of more than 100 productions for companies throughout the country. He is currently a master coach for the Minnesota Opera and has worked, for, worked as a guest coach for such companies as Opera Theater St. Louis, Central City Opera, Virginia Opera, Opera Southwest, Cedar Rapids Opera Theater, Skylar Opera, and Lyric Opera of the North, among others. Now, the format of tonight's uh, presentation will be that we're going to send you off to YouTube to see the uh, performance. And the reason for that is that uh, those of you who are Zoom proficient probably know that Zoom does not have, although it's great for, for meetings and things like that, it does not have the best throughput 
uh, or video audio, audio quality. So um, we're going to send you directly to the recording. And then when the recording is finished, please return to the Zoom and we'll be able to um, have a talk back, a Q and A with Victoria and Eric who are lurking behind the curtain as I speak. So with that, our, our master of ceremonies is going to provide you with the link to the Zoom in the chat. So if you don't have the chat open, I believe if you open the chat, it should be there. Yes, after the introduction. Okay, so go to the, the YouTube link that we've got there and then um, about 55 minutes from now, I believe that would be um, 8.10 or 8, 8.05, a little bit after eight o'clock, we'll start the chat here on, on Zoom. Thank you and enjoy the performance. If you have any difficulty at all, um, just raise your hand in the chat and we'll monitor that so that we can help you get to the, to the Zoom.